Either we fix this marriage today or I will divorce you tomorrow, Elon Musk told his first love when they were having relationship troubles. The CEO has a net worth of over $150 billion, but after a childhood marked by bullying and a complicated relationship with his father, he struggled with maintaining a healthy relationship. In fact, he has fathered 10 kids with three different women. Actually, I think it's better uh, being older and having a kid. I appreciate it more. Mm. Yeah, um, kid, babies are awesome. Who is Elon dated? And how does the businessman manage to have time for all his kids? Elon Musk's first marriage happened with his college sweetheart, Justine Wilson. The first time he noticed Justine across the common room, Elon approached her with the excuse that they had met before at a party. I met him when uh, I was 18, he was 19. He would call me up, he would ask me out, and I would say no. And he would call me up again, and he would ask me out, and I would say no. And, and it went on like this until we ended up living together. Musk romantically pursued Justine for years. At one point, he gave her his credit card and told her to buy as many books as she wanted since he knew the English teacher loved to read. What a romantic gesture. The pair finally married in the year 2000 and had their first child two years later. It seemed like their happiness had just begun when they were struck by what surely is a parent's worst nightmare, the death of their baby. Their child, Nevada Alexander, died of SIDS at only 10 weeks old. Justine was devastated, but according to an article she wrote for Marie Claire, Elon didn't want to talk openly about his son's death. He regarded his wife's grieving as emotionally manipulative, which forced her to bury her feelings. The couple dealt with the loss by having two more children. After a visit to an IVF clinic, Justine got pregnant and gave birth to twins. Two years later, the pair had triplets. Having kids didn't fix the duo's problems, so Elon and Justine went to couples therapy. However, after only three sessions, Musk gave his wife an ultimatum. Either we fix this marriage today or I will divorce you tomorrow. The CEO ended up filing for divorce in 2008. By the time we divorced, we were living in a house in Bel Air with no roommates and a miniature dachshund who still was not house trained. Six weeks later, he called Justine to inform her he was already engaged to another woman. After their separation, Justine wrote her article in Marie Claire magazine, in which she confessed that she felt like a starter wife and was estranged from Elon. One of the billionaire's children from this marriage has also decided against having any contact with him. In 2022, his daughter came out as transgender and filed a request to change her name to Vivian and her surname to her mother's. In the filing, she wrote, I no longer live with or wish to be related to my biological father in any way, shape, or form. Musk has become infamous for his transphobic comments, which could have something to do with Vivian's decision. After divorcing Justine, Elon began dating actress Tallulah Riley, who he had met in a bar. I remember thinking, wow, what an incredible man. Never met anyone like him. The two married in 2010, two years after meeting. However, their newlywed bliss was short-lived, and the pair divorced only a couple of years later. And then he said, I don't want you to go home, and I want to marry you. And he apologized. He said, I'm sorry I don't have the, the ring. He said, but this is what I'd like to do. And so we shook hands on it, and I said, yes, I will do. Fans thought this was the end for Elon and Tallulah, but they were surprisingly wrong. Not only did the couple get back together, but they remarried in 2013. As you can imagine, the on and off couple continued being on and off. Musk filed for divorce again, only to withdraw the petition later. The romance finally ended in 2016 when Riley filed to end the marriage. Luckily, the exes are on good terms. We still see each other all the time and take care of each other, Tallulah said in an interview. Soon after his divorce, Musk began seeing another actress, Amber Heard. Although the two started being romantically linked in 2016, the billionaire first expressed interest in the performer in 2012. Musk and Heard appeared in the same movie, Machete Kills. Although they never shared a scene, Amber piqued the interest of the CEO. Elon asked a mutual contact to introduce him to the star. A source told People Magazine that Musk even set up a dinner, but Heard, who was dating actor Johnny Depp at the time, didn't show. In 2016, the two reconnected at the Met Gala, and a few months later, they finally made their romance Instagram official. Sadly, the couple's love didn't last long. Elon and Amber broke up in 2017 due to their work schedules. Musk explained the situation in an Instagram comment, where he wrote, 
Although Amber and I did break up, we are still friends, remain close, and love one another. The CEO tried to put on a brave face in the midst of his breakup, but the truth is that the split got to him. During an interview with Rolling Stone, Elon confessed he was really in love and it hurt bad. Musk continued to bear himself emotionally when he told the reporter he was looking for a soulmate. When the journalist suggested he take some time alone to reflect on his past relationships, the billionaire answered, If I'm not in love with a long-term companion, I cannot be happy. Elon also told the magazine he had struggled with loneliness since childhood and that he never wants to be alone, which might be the reason behind his history of jumping from one relationship to another. The Tesla entrepreneur was cruelly bullied when he was a kid. It got to the point where he had to be hospitalized after he was shoved down a staircase. He also had problems at home. His relationship with his father was complicated, and the two are now estranged. Could these be the reasons behind his fear of loneliness? I mean, there are times when I feel lonely, yes. But I mean, I think it's, it's pretty basic. Like if I'm, say, working on the Starship rocket uh, down at, at, you know, South Texas, and, I, and, I, and I'm just staying in my little house by myself. After some time, Elon and Amber briefly reunited. The two were photographed kissing at a restaurant, and they were also spotted on vacation with some friends. However, this reconciliation was short-lived, and the two split again in early 2018. Just because the relationship ended doesn't mean there wasn't still some drama to resolve. Heard was famously involved in a court battle with her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. In his lawsuit, the actor claimed that Amber received late-night visits from Musk in their penthouse only a month after he and Heard married. Depp's lawyer also read a text exchange in which Amber said she was just filling space with Elon after the split from the actor. Although the CEO never officially responded to this, many believe he took his revenge. When Musk became the owner of the Twitter media platform, Heard's account mysteriously vanished. Fans speculated that the business mogul had intentionally deleted his ex's Twitter. Do you think this could be true? In May 2018, Elon began his new relationship in a very 21st century way through Twitter. After realizing that singer Grimes had made the same joke about artificial intelligence as him, the billionaire wrote her a private message. It seems like the pair hit it off since they made their red carpet debut at the Met Gala only weeks later. The lovebirds soon had to deal with some drama. Singer Azalea Banks publicly started a fight with the couple when she accused Grimes of inviting her to Musk's home, only to ignore her for days because she was busy spending time with the billionaire. After the fight, Grimes and Elon unfollowed each other on social media, leading fans to think they had split up. However, the two were spotted together only a couple of months later and followed each other again. After appearing at events together, the lovebirds made it obvious they had reconciled. And not only that, in early 2020, Grimes announced she was pregnant through Instagram, although she didn't reveal Elon was the father. In May, the couple welcomed their son, XAsha 12 Many would assume they were deep in parenting bliss, but nothing was further from the truth. According to a source, Grimes and Musk experienced a lot of ups and downs in their relationship and had been on and off. The friction continued after Musk tweeted some transphobic comments, including one that said, pronouns suck. Grimes publicly replied to the CEO, asking him to turn his phone off or call her. I cannot support hate. Please stop this. I know this isn't your heart, she continued. In September 2021, Elon announced he and Grimes had split. In his statement, he said he and the singer still love each other, see each other frequently, and are on great terms. Grimes released some songs about the split, including Love, where she says, Nobody understands because everything they hate is everything I love. The singer continued making songs about the breakup, but shocked fans when she uploaded a picture showing a baby bump on Instagram. In March 2022, Grimes announced through a magazine that she and Musk had welcomed a baby girl called Exodark Sidereal with the help of a surrogate. In the magazine feature, the musician explained she and Musk had her own thing going on. However, by the time it was published, they had broken up again. At this point, Elon had already fathered eight children, so you can imagine everyone's shock when it was reported the CEO had had twins with Siobhan Zealous, an executive at one of Musk's companies. When the news came out, the billionaire, who has been open about his concerns over population decline, tweeted that he was doing my best to help the underpopulation crisis. With the addition of the twins, Musk has now fathered 10 kids. Many wonder how the business mogul manages to raise so many children of different ages, to which Elon has confessed that he has mostly left the raising of the younger children to his partners and nannies.
The CEO dislikes traditional education, so he has created his own school, where his children are enrolled. The institution is called Ad Astra. It is focused on critical thinking and problem solving and doesn't adhere to traditional grading structures. Musk says his children love going to school. However, he admits his kids probably learn more through the internet than through education. My kids were mostly educated by YouTube and Reddit, he said in an interview. Regarding partners, Elon doesn't have an official girlfriend right now, but he has been spotted with actress Natasha Bassett. Although finding a stable partner is vital to him, Musk still hasn't managed to find his forever love. What do you think is keeping the CEO from settling down? Be well and be kind.